Hi, I'm George Pearson. In this Photoshop Elements video, we'll be talking about a new error that has cropped up with the latest Windows 10 update. You can see it right up here. If you open up a floating window and it opens up minimized like that upper left hand corner, we'll talk about that and how to work around that. Now if you enjoy this video, make sure you click on that like button and of course share the video with your friends. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And to learn everything about Photoshop Elements, look at my complete training and you'll find a link for that up there in the upper right hand corner. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, I'm in Photoshop Elements 2018 right now. Now my copy isn't having this problem, but I can simulate it for you just like that. Now what happens is if you have a file and you open it up as a floating window and you've just done the latest Windows 10 update, then you may see your flooding window pop up here like this, just kind of a little minimized thing upper left hand corner instead of coming in as it normally does down in here. Let me show you the full size of this picture. It should be coming in you know, about like that, kind of floating in the window. Now before we talk about this any further, let me just show you what this should be doing. Let me just close that one down. First off, so you can do floating windows, go up to the edit menu, come down to preferences and general and make sure these two check boxes are checked. Allow floating documents in expert mode and also enable floating document window docking. If those two are checked, then when you open up a new window, let's just bring that one back up again here, it should open up as a floating window, just like that. If you don't have those check boxes enabled, then it's going to open up as a docked window. Now there's no problem opening up as a docked window, it'll open up correctly if the window is docked like that. This error is only happening if your windows come in as a floating window. And again, it's not happening on my computer. I'm lucky I missed out on this particular problem, but other people have had this problem. What happens is when you open up the image, it comes in with the window minimized like that and is stuck up here, upper left hand corner. So it looks like that. Now doing some research on this, I haven't seen any actual fix for this error yet. The easiest workaround for this, I mean, there's two of them. One is just to grab that corner, drag it out, like that and then use your zoom control up here or your view control to adjust the size so it fits properly or if you dock it it'll be okay let me show you that real fast let me just put this back up here it's kind of minimized like that if you take this and just dock it it comes in at the right size so putting it back to a docked window works just fine let's just now go back to our minimized one here now the other way to bring this up full size but make it a floating window is come down bottom left hand corner and click where it says photo bin right there. When you're in the photo bin you'll see your picture here or you know multiple pictures if you have multiple windows open. Go over here to layout and then just click all floating and that resets it to the proper fitting in the window size just like that. Now the actual size in your screen will depend upon the size of your image other other such things but it will come in basically at the right size. So there's two ways to get around that as you can see. Let's just resize this down like that, put it back up here. First way, probably the easiest way is just to drag it and dock your window and there you go. If you want your window floating, the next easiest way is just to come down to photo bin right there, click on layout and all floating and that brings it up as well. The third way which is just a little bit longer and that's if you just grab your corner down here, drag that out until you get your full sized window and then put it where you want. Now none of these are fixes for this problem. You have to do this every single time this happens. And that is what the error is all about. And this hasn't been fixed yet by Adobe. Now hopefully they'll fix this soon. If they don't, I'm sure they will fix this in the next update, which would be version 2019 coming out in October at some point. So we'll see how fast they fix this. They tend to, on Photoshop Elements, they tend to do these fixes on the next version as opposed to fixing them during the year. So I expect this to get fixed in October. Now until then, there is a place to keep an eye on updates for Photoshop Elements. Let me just bring this page up here. Here we go. I'll put a link for this in the description, but it's right there. It's HTTPS colon slash slash helpx.adobe.com. That's the help section for Adobe. 
forward slash Photoshop elements, there's a little hyphen in there, Photoshop hyphen elements, forward slash release, hyphen note, forward slash update. Now what this page here does, this just lists the most current updates for Photoshop elements. You'll mostly see in here stuff for Camera Raw. Like there's a Camera Raw update here on October 24th, 2017, right after they released the new version of Elements, there was an update. And this is the exact same update in Photoshop and in Photoshop Elements. They both use the same Camera Raw version. Scroll down, here is one back from December 2016. Here's the last Photoshop Elements 15 update that was back on December 2016. And this was specifically for the OS X or Macintosh platform. And the reason they did this update was that the program wouldn't even open. So of course they're going, to, they're going to fix that one. They may not fix this little floating window thing because it's not as critical as a program not even opening up or crashing on you. So there you go. That's where you can find the latest updates. Now to actually run the update, all you do is you go up here to help and come down to updates. Click on that. This will bring up the update window. It will then check to see if there are any current updates. It's looking for it right now. If it finds any updates, it will go ahead and Take a look. Notice that everything is up to date. No problem on my particular version. I'll just close that down. So there you go. Look at this little area in here in the program. Not a real big issue, but it's a bit of a hassle, as you can see, having to resize your windows every single time. But that is doable. Okay, there you go. That's how to handle that current error that's caused by the latest Windows 10 update. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.